Mojave, we're expecting some changes to come later on tonight. It's mainly going to come in the form of storms, but first and foremost, getting you up and out the door. It is a muggy start for today with warm temperatures on this Monday morning. So along the coastline, we're in the 80s, 80 on the nose for Ingleside and Port A, 82 degrees at Naval Air Station Corpus Christi. The rest of us are in the 70s, but we range from the lower 70s, 71 in Freer in San Diego, 72 in Orange Grove, to the upper 70s, 79 in Kingsville, 77 for Robstown, Corpus Christi, and George West this morning 75 in Rockport so a bit of a variety but it's humid and muggy and icky out there it tells us the atmosphere is ripe for storms later on today so let's talk about the setup the big weather picture has clouds for us here at the surface level but we need to look at things in terms of uh, the atmosphere being a three-tier cake with lower middle and upper parts we're going to start here at the bottom the lower surface level where we are. These clouds are all that's left. Showers we saw overnight have lingered up by the Houston area. We may see some stray showers throughout today, not expecting the bulk of the rain until later on tonight. It's associated with the cold front uh, that is moving through the panhandle this morning and bringing storms from Amarillo down through Lubbock, San Angelo and out towards the DFW Metroplex this morning. So what else is playing a role? Well, let's take a trip upstairs. Water vapor showing us how much moisture is available in the upper part of the atmosphere. So we have a low pressure system hanging out over the west coast there, and that's digging up what is out from the southwest. What do we just have southwest of us? We just had a hurricane in Mexico. So what's left of Roslyn offering some moisture over us this morning that helps out. We got moisture at the surface and in the upper levels that helps fill us in. So this is also going to direct those storms that we see later on today. So putting it together like this, our first cold front comes through in the upper levels. We know that as a trough. We really only call it a cold front here at the surface, but that boundary arriving uh, as we head on into the early morning hours, some models think we'll see those showers linger into about 4 a.m. Others say it clears out just as quickly as the front arrives. But either way, front number one will bring us a chance for severe thunderstorms late tonight, not expecting much before or after it, it's going to be right along that front. That pushes out as we head into later on of Tuesday, so it'll still be windy behind the front, but eventually things calming down. Now, cold front number two, that looks to arrive as we head on into Thursday into Friday. So early Thursday, we'll see some showers and storms in advance of that. And so it'll be more of a prolonged rain event that gets here early Friday morning and we'll see the lingering rain even as that system pushes away. It's later Friday into Saturday that we start to see things clearing out, becoming more calm. So with the first front that arrives late tonight, early tomorrow morning, we have the threat of severe weather. All of us here in yellow under a slight risk of severe weather, the darker shade of green, a marginal risk. So we talk about the probability of seeing severe weather on a five point scale. In the yellow, that slight is a two. The dark shade of green, marginal, that's a one. So mainly our biggest concern for today is going to be strong winds. But we don't see all that much rain from today's tomorrow's front, the overnight front, the bulk of that being right along it early Tuesday morning. After Tuesday morning, we clear out and it's a beautiful rest of the Tuesday, a beautiful Wednesday. Those showers move back in for Thursday into Friday. Friday offering us more in the way of rain and your seven day forecast pans out this way. Tuesday afternoon and Wednesday is going to be gorgeous with temps near 80 and then this weekend looks to be a pretty nice one as well.